Yeah. <laughs> so how, how have you found uh, you know, post GFC? How have you found the you know the punters come back and return, or is it more? Are you getting more? You know, tourists come through, or is it you get the locals still get a lot of locals coming through and willing to have a have a decent meal? That is something. Over the last few years, that has become an issue that we consider all the time whether our mould is a bit outdated or whether people are still willing to spend money on a yeah. good meal or whether they're looking for a bargain all the time. Yeah. I think what we're lucky in the sense that we have is that people always have special occasions still, you know, like it'll either be... Um, sorry, love. Gilda's came in to get an interview, but she we lost her there. <laughs> Didn't quite get a, get an interview with that girl, but never mind. Um, yeah, so everyone's still got a special occasion, right? When when that sort of place, be it Valentine's Day, anniversaries, whatever it is. That being said, we have broadened our product range to include affordable stuff in the bar as well. Yeah, fish tacos and stuff that are a bit more approachable. 13, 15 bucks and a glass of wine and you're out of here, you know. Yeah, right, so you can just drift in for a, ca- for a cash. You've sort of got to just broaden the market a little bit, you know. You yeah. Know. And yeah. I noticed you've got a pretty good, interesting list of cocktails there. Yeah, we've so got, got a... got a special bar guy who comes in and... I pretty much manage the bar. We've got bar barmen that come in and work on it as well. But um, all our cocktails are sort of just twists on old classics, so... Yeah putting a twist on a caprioshka or putting a twist on a mojito or we've also got a 28 page wine list which has its own index so that's another whole part of the yeah, thing wine, too. yeah okay wine knowledge Estimated time of preparation. A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Oh, there's a book in that. <laughs> Always more ice than you actually need. Yeah. Once you shake it, it's going to reduce down. Coconut mojito. There's all the backroom staff in there waiting for their coconut mojito. Oh, look at this. All right. All right, Benny, you can dive in on that, mate. You'll have to be a test driver on that. Thanks, Cody. Good. That is something you can ride home about. Is it? Is it really that good? That is beautiful. Well, the the floral arrangement on top says it all. All right, well, I'll go and partake on that myself yeah. as soon as you've dribbled into it. And so, and, and so this year, is there, what, what can people expect out of things being you know, different or being you know, a bit new to where you've been the last year, I guess? People will see things gradually becoming more and more approachable and more and more low-key and more and more relaxed, basically. You're going to take the formality out of it. It'll still be exactly the same quality. Um, it's still good service, but just a more relaxed attitude. That's what we want to try and get across. We like to cater for kids well. We've got a good kids menu. It's a family environment around here. Yeah. You know, families come away for holidays. Sort of, everyone deserves a good time, so look after the kids as well. You yeah. Know. So can I just ask, as a as a um, you know a par, uh, front of house par excellence, what's uh, for anyone that might be uh, having to be viewing this? 
what can you say about the nature of that role and what's what's required to make it work well so that you can uh, not only keep yourself employed but uh, you know do do the right consumer thing well I think the minute you realize that it's not about you yeah. it's about the customer and that what they're doing they're not trying to put you out in any sort of way you just need to get over that little hump and show them a good time basically yeah okay well as a, as a consumer I find that uh, when you when you go into an inarticulate restaurant or hospitality uh, facility there's uh, quite often you get the uh, incurred grumpiness or, or uh, someone doesn't quite know you and doesn't recognize you and you get that sort of hint of hint of snobbery and prejudice that, that exists um, obviously to be successful in your in your uh, your industry you've got to get obviously uh, belie that and get over that quickly yeah. um, so you, you take all comers in a sense you just yeah. it's not a, not a realization that happens quickly either it's one of those things yeah that sort of builds gradually over the years and you sort of relax a bit more into it yeah um, it also teaches you to be more organized as well to give yourself a bit of freedom to get tied up in situations that you didn't really want to be tied up into but if that's what's required, at least you know that you've got people behind you that can cover you, or you yeah. know, spend a bit of time on a situation, yeah. rather than just fobbing it straight off. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's really that friendly face as soon as you arrive at a place, and uh, you know, feeling comfortable right from the outset. Well, um, look, we're all uh, we'll just uh, have a bit of a, a cruise around the around the the, uh, the restaurant here and take a bit of footage. And uh, thanks very much for that for that uh, insight into your uh, into your game Pleasure. all right thank you